Hi friends. This video is the short version of the last couple of weeks of the life of Lynn and Jerry. JC Travel Stories. Uh, it starts with our last day in Mexico, enjoying the company of our neighbor Carol. And Lynn and Carol singing a dumb old song. Well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> it was kind of cute. Um, then we fly from Guadalajara to Phoenix and uh, go up north of the Grand Canyon with our motorhome. Then we go to Flagstaff and meet up with uh, some friends there. Come south through a terrible rainstorm down to our son's house uh, in southern Arizona, south of Tucson, which is where we are now. Come on, we're going to do about 3,000 miles in the next... 12 minutes. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Let's go in the permanent. Just hang on a second. You liked it and, and, and I just hated it. It's like uh, you've been eating cake. Yeah. This cake. Oh, didn't I finish it? Well, yeah, you finished it. it <laughs> now you girls are going to sing your song. Let's skip a couple of uh, body parts because it's a long song. Oh. She, she waited in the water and she got her feet all wet. She waited in the water and she got her feet all wet. She waited in the water and she got her feet all wet. But she didn't get her wet yet. She waited in the water and she got her knees all wet. She waited in the water and she got her knees all wet. She, she waited, waited in the water and she got, by, and got her knees so wet, uh, but she, she didn't, didn't get her wet yet. yet. Oh, she, oh waited she waited in the water and, and she got her thighs all wet. She, she waited in the water and she got her thighs all wet. She, she waited in the water and she got her thighs all wet, but she didn't get her wet. Yet, oh, oh, she waited she in the water and she finally got it wet. She waited in the water and she finally got it wet. She waited in the water and she finally got it wet. She finally got her bathing suit wet. <laughs> That's it? That's it? That's, That's it. the song! Oh, you you the best want one this? You know, you're not going any higher? <laughs> <laughs> you want to <laughs> Okay. She got, got her belly button wet and she got her boobs wet. Is that, does that make you happy? <laughs> uh, now, now, now you made me have to edit this. Ready? Si. International flights into the United States require a negative COVID test within 36 hours. It cost 900 pesos each, about $45. We passed. son is picking us up and it's taking him a long time to find us here at Sky Harbor. Got the motorhome ready and headed up just south of the Grand Canyon. Here we are, Nomad Ranch or Aja Acres or whatever they're calling it. Had to uh, fix a flat on my tricycle here, but it's working fine. You can see that it's bumpy the tricycle basket, but the stabilization on this little Acaso camera that I have mounted on the handlebars seems to be working fairly well. Aja's old Panda RV there on the left and her trailer. Got quite a few friends out here. Um, they're assembling for um, Aja's birthday, and we just had Ed and Sue's 
uh, redo. Jake the Snake there on the right, Donnie, Colleen, Jennifer and Jason here. Terrible wind is why I'm dubbing this. And uh, that little Acaso camera is good for stabilization. It takes a fairly good picture, but wind noise is definitely one of its failings. Hi, Jason. And... Here comes Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Ooh, where are you going? Oh, crap. Now he disappeared. He's down into the foam insulation. I had to find me a stick to poke the insulation around. I got half the insulation uh, batted away with a stick, and I still don't see it again. And what I said was, I hope Mama's not in there. No, I think you should just leave this project for tomorrow. It's not that important. <laughs> Let them figure it out overnight and get the heck out of there and then just... Oh, all you have to do... I'm not afraid of snakes. Come on. Just hang with me a minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set the phone down this time on the box. It'll be up in the air a little bit. Can you hear me now? Yeah, so far it's still working. Okay. I'm poking the other half of the insulation away. I don't see it. Oh, there he is. Her, it, she. Yeah, I don't think it's a rattlesnake. Oh, go this way. Go that way. No, not this way. Go that way. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't think it's a rattlesnake. I don't think it's a rattlesnake. Um, well, that's good. Yeah. We don't want those. But he's just kind of going around and around the tank. It's, uh... No, you got no rattles. Okay, well that's good news. Uh, I was going to tell you, if you need any of the water, I'm pretty sure I left the, but it's a 110 electric pump, water pump, if you guys need it, it's in Aja's storage container. Oh, okay. So um, like if you want to fill your tank or whatever, he needs to fill water tanks, but like I say, you're going to have to bring like an inverter over there or run an extension cord, which if you bring your rig over, you got extension, you got everything right there you need. <laughs> Well, um, hmm. Yeah, I'm just thinking about washing my Jeep and stuff. I'd like to wash my motorhome, but I'd have to drive it over. Well, what should I do today? Make cookies. What kind of cookies? Um, those with the dried cherry. Cherry almond? Cherry almond, yeah. Okay. I love them. You would think, after 300 and some videos, that I would learn to not put my finger on the microphone for the camera. <laughs> well, that's what happened, and that's why I'm doing a voiceover here. Um, right now, I'm yelling at Google to tell me how much time is left on my timer, and she says, get out there and check your cookies, Jerry. Ooh, looking good. I love my Camp Chef oven. First batch, and we got a second batch ready to go in there in a minute. Hey, Google, how much time is left? Hey, Google, stop. Hey, Google, set the timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, starting now. Okay, we got the uh, second batch. First batch coming out, looking perfect. Second batch going in. Temperature dropped to 300. Needs to be to 350. They'll be okay. 
Ooh, look at those. Yeah. A little brown around the edge is perfect. Oh my goodness. I, I picked mine out. Did you? Oh, I gotta set the camera down. Okay, five minutes on that sheet, then they get taken off to cool a little bit more. Well, we've moved from Nomad Ranch Base Camp over here to north of Flagstaff, back into the real pine trees. Some more friends that we haven't seen for a couple of years. We'll be here for a day and then we're going on down towards Sonoida, Arizona. It's and going. the Sky Islands. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, we're the same height now. Yeah, That's right, we you're are. perfect. I'm really tall, huh? Yeah, and I'm glad, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad I got to see you again. I'm glad I got to see you too. After a couple of evenings with our friend Camper Van Kevin and, and Felix and the pups, we headed on down to... Uh, Flagstaff again. Kind of caravan to the freeway. That's Felix ahead, camper van Kevin ahead of him, and Frank in a Class A just like ours um, in the lead there. We are not following them to the next camp spot. I'm going to pull in here to a Great America truck stop and get some fuel. I much prefer to fuel up at uh, truck stops because uh, I'm, first of all, 60 feet long pulling the Jeep and getting in and out can be a problem. But also, regular gas stations have these tiny little nozzles. I have a 100-gallon diesel tank and truck stops have big nozzles that fill fast. We traveled along with a thunderstorm and heavy rain all the way from just out of Flagstaff all the way through uh, Phoenix. And bad as it made the driving and it slowed us down in a lot of places because of uh, traffic slowing, it actually had a very positive effect. When we went up to um, the property, base camp. It was raining really hard up there too and it's a four miles of muddy road going in there and all of my motorhome underneath and the Jeep and everything underneath and the Jeep totally covered in half inch of sticky mud. But we essentially had about a three hour heavy car wash going on down the freeway. The end of a beautiful day as the sun sets on my son's beautiful ranch in southern Arizona. At the end of a day, but the beginning of some adventures. He's got a long list of projects for me. We're uh, working on plumbing and doing a water system from rain catchment to water the gardens and drawing up a plot map to maybe get a bulldozer and move a road or build a RV pad for my RV. Um, he bought this property a few months ago and there's a bit of deferred maintenance here and there. Uh, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. 
please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.